She don't like storms. Can y'all see her little eyes? <laughs> okay, pause that. Pause. Okay, I think it's the wind has died down out there a little bit. Well, we got a thunderstorm coming. I don't know if y'all can tell how dark it is. The dust of dawn lights already come on. It's windy. Let me show y'all the water trough and show you what Frodo, I just seen him doing. Hey girl. she is pretty girl you better eat that hay and hurry up before it gets wet put the lid on my feed <sighs> all right i didn't get the canoe out of here yet show you the big trough big water trough right here isn't it nice nice and big and full and molly is at the little one right now the one i got for frodo and look what they've done they didn't tore a big hunk out of the corner of it now the water can only go up there's a ring i don't know it's basically right underneath Molly, uh, it just was not made. I had no idea they would mess with it like that. It's not this thick mess. It's thin and Frodo was taking his horns and shoving up underneath that little, that little lip, you know, it rounds over the edge. Anyway, there was a piece of that plastic laying right over there, the big conk missing, it was in the water. Hi, girl. Anyway, I don't know. I've walked all around looking for eggs, so I can't find a place that they're anywhere else they're laying. I hope they're not laying under the house. I know some of them, not all of them make their way to the front yard, but a few of them do. But I've never heard them letting, you know, chickens always, it's almost an always thing. They let you know when they've laid. And I haven't heard any squawking in the front yard like they've done something. Um, but I also have to watch them under the porch here. If y'all remember back, look at the porch. It's got a, it's got a, a crown in it right there. I need to pull that out. That, that water may have shifted something under there. God, I tell you, that water, Flood waters do so, I mean, I know it didn't come in my house and this is just a deck, but they just do so much damage to things you don't even think about, about till later. Anyway, I see a big crown in it right there, but it's so dark out here, all these solar lights have popped on. <laughs> one hanging. Where's the other ones that hang? Something blew in my eye. Um, oh, in that tree right there. And that tree over there. And, oh, now there's just piles of leaves on the pool. And the pool was so pretty and blue yesterday. I could see all the way to the bottom. And I could see the clump of mess that I need to still get out of the middle of it. The wind has died down. And it's actually not quite as dark right now. It's it's clear. It's starting to blue up over there. Maybe it won't. We, we're, in, we're under a 
thunderstorm warning with possibility of some quarter inch hail. Um, I was, well, somebody, I'm going to tell you guys, I'll just tell you now, because I don't even know the name of the person that did it, but I uh, removed them from the comments because I didn't want somebody to see it, but they didn't say a bad word. They used the abris ab abrisions, abbreviations for a bad word. Um... And I'm just not going to have that kind of, even as an, in a, an abbreviation, I'm not going to have that kind of talk. So, you know, I was talking about the dogs and the yapping and the barking, and I get it. It is a dog thing. It's not like I'm getting rid of my dogs because they yap and bark. And I'm not going to, I think, you know, Buddy picks at them, which is not a big deal to me. But somebody coming, I, I mean, you know, I know guys, there's tree huggers out there. This family is not, a tr or we're not tree huggers. We love our animals. We love our little farms. We take care of everything the best we can. Uh, we have probably, honestly, I think we all have so much knowledge. We don't always put it to good use, but we all have so much knowledge that we have gotten from daddy and our grandparents. And mom, not mom so much on the farm side of stuff, but other knowledge. But we are all fully aware that little dogs yelp. I can't even walk into mom's without them yelping and yelping and yelping. And then after a minute, they shut up. After a few seconds, they shut up. And then they're in your lap and blah, 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 but they yelp. But somebody made a comment, you know, blah, 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 dog, blah, 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 dogs, dogs, dogs. And then in capital letters, it was FFS. F F S. Some of you may know what those abbreviations mean. Some of you may not, but I can say that the first one is far and the last one is S uh, is uh, the S is for sake. So for F sake, there, I ain't having it. I'm not listening to it. I'm not reading it. If that's the kind of language that they have, even if it's an abbreviation, then they can go elsewhere to leave comments. You know, y'all are here just to, 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 all the comments, they're not here to, I don't want comments that put people down or talk negative to people or hateful to people. I want to build up people. And we all know dogs. If you're with our page, if you watch Lester's page, mom and dad's page, Jake's page, Bree's page, Daniel's page, we all have dogs. Most of us have cats. And ain't none of us running around saying for F, F, S. There, that's it. So, I did also see a lot of comments about dad. Dad has his bad knees, all you guys know that. Now he's got some kind of allergies going. So, um, I called mom. Well, some of the comments were about daddy messing around in those buildings. And I'm assuming when the people that commented about buildings daddy's going into, they're talking about his old man cave, maybe even his old shop out there in the front of, you know, their house. So, I, I was like, why is he in the building? I don't know about the shop, you know, it's pretty closed in too. There's no windows. There's nothing, no way to let air or anything into that shop except for to open the door. And I don't know if he wants the door open because I don't know if he thinks like cats will run in there. Then the shore gets shut and cats get locked in. I don't know. So I don't know if he's messing around in his old shop. But I don't know why the heck he's going in his man cave. So I called mom. And I said, people are making comments about how bad dad looks. And I said, I know that we all made jokes. I made a joke yesterday in my video about him coming in the front door. Well, he, I know he uses a cane to walk, but when it gets to things like doors and stuff, he's still trying to open a door with the cane, which come on guys, that's just daddy being daddy. But I said, is he messing around in that his old man cave and mom's like 
when he goes out, I don't know what he does. He's out there for hours. I don't even know where he's at or what he's, what he's doing or blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. Dustin and Bennett pulled everything out of there. What did he put back in there? And she goes, all I know is he said there was things that couldn't sit out. They had to go. And I said, like the ancestral stuff, all that, all the research he's done on stuff, ancestry.com, all that stuff. And she said, yes. And I said, mama, he doesn't need to go into that closed up nasty building to look through that stuff. And she goes, I can't tell him anything. You don't understand. He gets so upset. But I drew up some 12 by 16 plans. Because you have to remember, it's just going to be a man cave. A room with a couple of chairs and a couch, maybe a TV, an air conditioner in the wall, some kind of a little mini kitchen, and a little mini bath. So I drew up. Hold on. Okay, so here's what I drew up. Here's the pavilion, just like it looks now. His little kitchen over here, his little outdoor kitchen's over here, and then the pavilion. And here's how, right now, if he was to walk in his man cave. But I have it sitting up this way. It's 12 deep, 16 foot down. I have a, a little, I have this as a filing cabinet and a little desk right here. Then you go keep straight on in, you get the fridge in the corner, a sink, cabinets a pantry and then there's a little space here for a slider door so door slides into a little nook right there you come in there's a toilet and a shower that's all he needs in there and then when you come out you have a little island here for the kitchen anything you're doing in the kitchen you need a little bit more prep space i have a heater over here caddy wampus caddy wampus in the corner I'll have a TV. My mind says there'll be a TV above it because it's just going to be the little electric fireplace heater. The little inserts that you build, whatever you want, really pretty, and then you put a, yeah. So the fireplace here with a little TV above it and a couch and a couple of chairs. And, and that's all he needs. And then we want it to be at least his, the man cave now, the water mark on the door shows about 14 inches of water was in there. So if we can get this about two and a half to three foot in the air with a ramp, maybe with a little bit of a platform that comes down, to, you know, with a ramp that comes down into the pavilion, it could come straight down into the pavilion, but I was thought maybe a, a landing first and then into the, down into it. So it's not so, not so uh, steep. And then that puts him, he can come in here and keep things in his fridge and stuff and come right out with it and come right to his little outdoor kitchen over here if he's cooking stuff. So that still keeps him. And what we would see would be like from this end, from here, we would, it would be, it would, you would look like you're still looking at the side of the building now. So, you know, his carports are out here where his cars are, you know, and he's got that little drive that he comes around his pavilion like that and he parks over here usually to go in the back door of the house so all this would still be here but there'd only be a 12 foot build a 12 foot side of a wall here now instead of right right now okay this would be 12 foot but right now it's 22 so all this would go away all the rest of, you know what's there is gone and only be 12 foot deep this way and it would go 16 this way and so then you're looking at it like it is now. So carports, I'm trying to give you an example of what you see when you're out there. So the carports are here, you walk into the pavilion and here's this man cave. Do the same thing, but it's set up different and it's high in the air. That's, that's a plan I have. Now, if it works, that would be great. Hold on. And we keep him from going back in there. He's just, he can't just keep going in there. He's gonna make himself sick. He's already got allergies. He's gonna make himself too sick if he keeps doing it. Anyway, we're gonna do what we can. Um, I don't know. He, honestly, he may just need to bring some of that ancestry stuff that he's got in totes or whatever he's got it in out there and go ahead and bring it in the house in that little office area right as you come in the front door, put it over there. And every day, sit in the air conditioner and go through it and throw away what needs to be thrown away. Mark 
maybe put marks on what needs to be reprinted or something because he can't see it good. He, I think he's got all that stuff on his computer. I don't know. He doesn't need to be keep going in those buildings. It's just making him sick. It's making him sick. So I have a headache thinking about all this stuff. It's a lot to think about. And, I, and like Daniel was saying, he goes, he's, he goes, Kim, I'm, I, I know I'm not old, but I'm to that point in my life where I don't want to do a whole bunch of, I don't want to redo our houses every three or four years because they flood. And I said, I don't either. And I, and I said, so that, what would be the point of putting him in a new man cave on the ground? On, you know, closing in the pavilion, it's a slab, yes. But it's still on the ground. And if we ever have a flood, he's going to have three or four foot of water in it again. What is the point in that? Anyway, trying to work it out, guys. We're trying to work it out. What's wrong? It don't have ink? No. You're out of, none of your pens have ink? No. Why don't you throw them in the garbage and go find some pens that have ink? Yeah. If none of those have ink, throw them away. Yeah. I guess he needs new pens. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I love you guys. God bless y'all. <sighs> I'll see you later. It's a lot to work out. It's a lot to work out here. That stubborn old man back there behind me. Not that one, way up there on the hill. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.